What's up guys, Rexon34 back with another epic video. This one we're going to be opening up the 2002 Blue Eyes White Dragon 10. This is one of the first original 610s. The first one that we've opened was the Lord of D10 that we opened like last week or so. Check that video out up there. And then we also are going to be opening the other four eventually, hopefully, if I can find them. But this is the number one most popular 2002 10, naturally because of Blue Eyes. It has those two LOB, those two Metal Raiders, and the Magic Ruler pack with the promo. So we're not going to shake this around too much. We don't want to damage our promo any more than it already is. Pretty excited for this. It's going to be incredible, guys. I can't wait to open it. We're also going to be opening. You guys guessed it. We have a couple of boxes left. We're almost out of this. So if you guys are tired of this, I will be done with it soon. If you're excited, though, I have a good feeling that we're going to pull 10K because, guys... There's a couple boxes left. I can't just sell those boxes. If I just sell them, they're going to have something good in them. You guys know they will. So I just got to keep opening them. Maybe they'll have Utopia. Maybe they'll have 10K. We're going to see what we can pull. Also, there is a giveaway in this video. By the way, this is for 19K subs. So I appreciate all you guys who have subscribed. That's incredible. 19,000 subscribers. In 1,000 subscribers, we'll be opening up five Legend of Blue Eyes First Edition packs, seven Heavy Champion Pack 1 packs, which contain a potential five to $600 raw cards, the LOB contain a potential $15,000 blue eyes in 10. There's also Retro Pack 2, which we're opening seven of those packs. They could have the blue eyes shining dragon, which is insane. Then one Retro Pack 1. It's going to be an epic video. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button for that and the giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away these four cards. We have a Magician's Valkyrie. We have kind of a, they're a little bit dinged up. These are some epic cards. We have a Jump Promo, Tacrimidos from McDonald's Pack, Goddess of Whim, and guys, this is a guy of the Dragon Champion gold misprint. Yeah, gold letter misprint. This is a misprint. All of these cards are pretty epic. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what card you want to see pulled out of this Blue Eyes 10. And let's get into it. We're already two minutes in, so let's go. Let's start opening. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I appreciate all you guys who are liking the videos, who are subscribed, doing all that epicness. So I'm going to fly through these... Um, Battles of Legend Armageddon, I know, I know, you, some of you guys are tired of it, I understand. But at the same time, we have a chance to pull a $4,000 PSA 10 card, or the Utopia that we never pulled. Also, <laughs> Fossil Warrior Skull Knight, which apparently is the most rare card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's, st let's stand this up like this. Because I've pulled it like two times, or three times, out of like 30 boxes. Is that like real life? Like, how is that even possible? That's all I'm saying. Also, um, PSA just received my four card express order which had the 10k dragon i bought as well as two the two starlights we pulled the rise of destiny case and they had the blackluster soldier that i bought the first edition one so potentially could have some crazy returns oh i just pulled out o-line that one got banned by the way guys so there goes even this now has even less value than it did which is impressive because there was uh, basically no value left in battles of legend the prices have absolutely tanked I'm negging hardcore every time I open these. Not to mention the tin we're about to open and just lose all our value. Okay. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, hope, hopefully we will uh, pull something good though. I'm hoping we pull a blue eyes. That would be absolutely insane, guys. There's a Utopic Future Slash. We can kind of fly through these packs though now. I mean, I've gotten I've gotten good at opening the uh, Palace of Legend. That's for sure. Yes! We pulled it, guys! We pulled the Skull Knight! Yes! Okay, he deserves a sleeve. I never pull this guy. I don't know what he's worth anymore because it's been so long since I've checked his price because I never pulled it. We actually pulled it. I'm sure a few times I've skipped over it. Okay, I probably haven't, but I I'm trying to make myself believe that I've skipped over some, and but none of you guys have ever mentioned it in the comments, so I probably didn't skip over it. Armored White Bear. I think that's the first one I've pulled in this entire case. And this is like, I think this is the 10th box. So we have two more boxes after this. So potentially you're probably going to see two more boxes open. Unless we pull 10K, then I'll probably just keep them sealed. Or maybe I'll sell them and, you know, I'll probably let them know that the 10K has already been pulled out of the case. It's possible to pull two, but, you know, unlikely. But you guys did see us pull two out of, uh, you saw us pull two out of Rise of Destiny, which is not Rise of Destiny. Rise of the Duelist. I think I said Rise of Destiny earlier too, or did I? We'll see. You guys will know. You'll let me know if I said the wrong thing. Oh my goodness. We're about to open up a 2002 Blue Eyes 10, guys. This is going to be crazy. This is Sonya. 2002. L we got LOB packs. Those unlimited packs are actually pretty expensive. The uh, 2002 version. There's an Icy Imprisonment. I've not pulled that much. That card's actually really hard to pull. 
Okay. Even her calling. So far, not a great box. We did get the knight, though, which is good. We're getting a little bit of our value back, like 20 bucks. Okay. Five more packs, and then we're opening up that insane 2002 tin, guys. Oh, there we go. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. I'm just hoping last time we didn't we didn't pull a foil out of Lord of D10. So I'm thinking this time we gotta pull something, you know? I'm thinking that ultra rare out of LOB, ultra rare out of Metal Raiders, that's kind of my goal here. Or Seeker Rare. I mean obviously you could pull Gate Guardian. That would be pretty crazy. Last time we also had a reverse foil Lord of D misprint, which was crazy. So if we have a reverse foil blue eyes, that's actually really pricey. That Lord of D was like 30 bucks, but it's also Lord of D compared to Blue Eyes. So you guys see. That will probably make a difference. Okay, yet another box with no 10K, so let's get into the blue eyes. All right, guys, here we go. Blue eyes 10, where's my knife? Blue eyes, white dragon. All right, the last time this will be sealed. This kind of thing's actually in great condition, so it's hurting even more. But this is gonna be incredible. Oh my goodness. Make sure you guys check out my recent video where I showed you guys my LOB collection, so that, that might be kind of cool, because we are opening LOB. That was first at LOB, though, so that's, that's some pretty insane stuff. Hopefully, we can pull something unlimited out of here. How about a Blue Eyes White Dragon? Yeah, my main goal is for LLB Unlimited. I've never pulled an unlimited Red Eyes at all, I don't think. Even a reprint. I have pulled the first edition one, so I've kind of done that. Okay, here's our comes our promo. Oh my goodness! No! Rip! This needs to be the thumbnail, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That is terrible. RIP to the promo. That is awful. Okay, this guy's destroyed. He's literally like heavy played almost. That is so sad. Okay. We still have the packs. The packs can still save us. Blue Eyes White Dragon. You are absolutely decimated. It, it is not reverse foil either, I don't think. Let's let's check it compared to another one. Yep, definitely normal foil. The front looks really nice though, so we're definitely gonna sleeve that up in some dragon shield. Speaking of dragon shield, please sponsor me. Why not? Okay, yeah, let's continue. This is beautiful, and then you flip it over. Wah, 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 the sad trombone. Sad, oh my goodness. See, that's just what happens. Sales and dude, that is our worst one yet, I think. That is just sad. So, $500 tin, damage promo. Okay, here we go. Let's get something good out of these packs, guys. The packs can still save us. We can pull blue eyes out of LOB. How about that? So here, we have Magic Ruler. Whew, what do we want? We want blue eyes, tune dragon. We want relinquish. We want something like that. Okay. Give us a foil, guys. At least get one foil after that after that damage. Here we go. Hamburger recipe. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you guys are enjoying these old school openings. I'm going to be always trying to do more because they're my favorite. Psychic Kappa. We got a Griggle. Check them out. Griggle. Final Destiny. Did we pull something good? If we pull a rare, what do we want? Cyber Jar or something like that? That is not what we want. Amoeba is definitely not the one we want. So, Toll, Reliable Guardian. Ryu Ran is definitely one of the coolest commons. I mean, that's anime related. That is really cool. So, that's a good that's a good common. The cards look like they're in nice condition. So, that's nice. I'm going to sleeve these all up into a little group for what was in the pack. Okay. Nothing in Magical. That's okay. We prefer to be on Metal Raiders or Legend of Blue Eyes. At least I would. I think there's a lot of good cards. There's a lot of good cards on Metal Raiders. So we're looking for, you know, we're looking for something insane, like Gay Guardian, Summon Skull, you know, stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Block Attack. Cocoon of Evolution. Musician King, which is a Black Forest and Lady of Faith. Kind of weird. Protector of the Throne. All right, did we hit something, guys? Whew, come on, let's do this. Let's hit a Summon Skull. Let's hit a Beast Skull. Or a... Puppy Dog, Milo's Radiant. All right. Guardian of the Labyrinth, Tainy Wisdom, Harpy Lady, Yodu Karu. Okay, guys. There's still hope. The last Metal Raiders pack could still have the Epic Picanio Moth. Yes. Some people asked me after the last video why I liked Picanio Moth, and I was like, guys, <laughs> are you serious? Like, what do you mean? Like, of course I like it. It's one of the best cards ever. So I, I didn't really get why they were asking. It was a little weird. It was like, it's like asking why why do you like blue eyes? It's almost the same, so it's a little confusing. I mean it's not it's a little better than blue eyes, obviously, but you know. It's, it's close. Blue eyes is close. Okay, we got Lady Defe. Blue Winged Crown. Tongyo. Alright guys, well 
some gear. Okay. Can we hit Summon Skull? That's that's the goal here. Or Gay Guardian. Lava Battle Guard. Ooh, we got an Ultra. Seven Tools of the Bandit. Maybe the, the second worst one in the set, but that's okay. I really do love this card. I think it looks really cool. I really like how the foil is just on the, uh, you know, the Swiss Army Knife there. It's pretty awesome. Centering is not too bad. It's not great. I mean, we're probably not going to grade it. But, by the way, for all you guys who always ask, um... Centering is, you see this border here, it's basically this whole purple part can be shifted any direction. Preferably you want it right in the middle because that's perfect centering. Or it'll be shifted over here so like this side's really big or bigger than this side. So that's bad centering, you know, not as good centering. So that is what centering is and of course I've, you know, I've mentioned that several times on the channel. But the thing with YouTube is... I have, if I don't mention something in every video, I'm still going to get a question about it because like somebody will have watched this video and not the last video and they'll ask the question, you know? Even if I've said it five videos in a row, if I don't say it in the sixth video, somebody will watch the sixth video that haven't watched the other five videos, you know what I'm saying? So I just kind of reiterate the same stuff a lot just to help you guys who are going to ask. Okay, two more packs. We did get an ultra rare. I cannot complain about that. Unfortunately, it wasn't like Summon Skull, but I, I do like Seven Tools of the Bandit. Okay, can we get one more out of LOB? That's going to be pretty cool. We have original LOB wrappers here. Our goal for LOB is Blue Eyes, White Dragon, or Red Eyes. I've pulled two Dark Magicians out of original LOB. Oh, we got a, we got damage on the back of these cards. Yeah, these uh, cards aren't looking too good. Okay. Yo, yeah, after the Blue Eyes promo, that was not good. All right, Two Mouth Dark Ruler. You know, Tom, if we pull Blue Eyes, I'm losing it, guys. Armored Starfish, come on, hit the hit the like button for luck. Meta Bat. I have a good feeling about this. Gaia, the Fierce Knight, Ultra Rare. Okay, it wasn't a Blue Eyes, but it was another Ultra Rare. We're hitting the Ultras, and this one looks... It looks good, okay. Okay, yes. So I have this one in uh, first edition PSA 10. Now we have... Probably not a PSA 10. Check that centering, guys. You guys can see it for yourself. Larger here, larger here, and smaller on those sides, so it's shifted that way, which is not good for centering. Okay. But, on the other hand, we did get an Ultra Rare Gaia. Trial of Nightmare. Okay, so let's see. It's already been changed to Trial of Nightmare in these packs, so that's interesting. There are a few unlimited Trial of Hells. Not many, but they're actually really pricey because there's just not too many of them. Okay. Yeah, because the tins were late in the year, so I bet it was early in the year, like the very first unlimited printing. Final pack, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Didn't do great out of Battles of Legend, but that's okay, because we are pretty hot right now. We've opened four packs, we've got two Ultras, so let's see if we can pull... I mean, what do we want now? I mean, another Ultra would be insane, Secret Rare would be insane, even a Super would be insane. So let's see what we can do. Blue Eyes White Dragon tin. Promo was damaged, but the packs are coming through. Here we go. Green Phantom King. Hitatsumi Giant. Follow wind. Silver bow and arrow. Okay. Whew. One more. Hain Hain. It's just a rare. Okay. Trial of Nightmare again. Cool. Wasteland and Larvis. There we go, guys. That is it. Hain Hain. We pulled two pretty epic ultra rares, so I can't complain about that. That's pretty awesome. Let's go over what we did get. Uh, we're not going to go over the Battles of Legends stuff. We didn't. We pulled Skull Knight, so add that in. Then we pulled Gaia the Fierce Knight, so we got a couple knights. Seven Tools of the Bandit, and a Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is completely and utterly destroyed, which is unfortunate. Definitely going in the binder, though, just because I like to keep all my 10 promos that I pull out of uh, videos. So pretty, unless I do doubles, so I'll, I'll sell doubles, but that's pretty cool. Pretty happy with two Ultra Rare pulls out of five packs, especially after that Lord of D10 where we pulled nothing. So that was pretty awesome. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are getting close to 20,000, and I already told you what we're going to do then like a million times more epic than this video and this video is epic so yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys later peace oh! elemental hero dark bright boom oh!